Wakurugenzi ukiangalia world map vizuri. Hii side kuna United States of America. Kuna Canada hapo juu kidogo, alafu kuna bits of United States zimeendelea hapo kando kidogo. Hapo Alaska juu hapo kiasi. So ukienda farthest kabisa hiyo side ya states kuna island ndogo inaitwa uh, the Diom- ni part of the Diomed Islands. So one Diomed Island iko hapo, the small one. The small Diomed Island, the farthest end USA. Cross hiyo map yote mpaka the other end. The farthest end of Russia there is another Diomed Island ambayo inaitwa the big Diomed Diomed Island from the small Diomed Island to the big Diomed Island there is a 23 hour difference meaning watu wakiwa the small Diomed Island in USA watu wa the big Diomed Island in Russia wako kesho washaingia the next day but from one Diomed Island to the next dam to the other diomed island using the back route is only 3.8 kilometers sijui kama ni make sense hapo wadau like ukitoka kwa hiyo island upitie states hivyo europe asia nini kuna 23 hour time difference lakini badala ya kukuja hivi uzunguke na nyuma kutoka kwa hii diomed island mpaka kwa hii diomed island nyingine sababu the world is a globe they are only 3.8 kilometers apart meaning you can walk from the small diamond island in uh, diamond island in USA you can walk to the big diamond island in Russia hapo katikati ni kuki block tu kibigi kia ice but the, despite the fact that ukiwa kwa the small diamond island unaweza ona <laughs> the big diamond island time difference bado ni 23 hours so unaweza kuwa unapiga story na msa yako pale akomande we uko sande mze <laughs> Isn't the world weird? Aya, kijana destiny twende kazi. wakurugenzi <laughs> mamen yo maze headline hitters hata sijui ni episode gani <laughs> lakini kama k ukiona mkurugenzi in the building you just know he's got the juice hiyo mm. <laughs> mambo ya diamond islands imenishangaza sana yani muko only 3.8 kilometers apart lakini hao wako kesho nyi mko leo <laughs> Na imagine watu wawili wakiongeleshana Buda umeona bana Man City tumechukua kikombe? Ah ah tutasoma kwa gazeti ya kesho sisi bado tuko jana. Sumbue. Tuna tutaongea kitu kingine jumu umeshinda. What's nonsense. Ah bas, leo wadau nataka niwapeleke moja kwa moja mpaka nchi inaitwa Philippines. Hey, na Philippines nimepata iko na story ngori ngori. Hii, mnakumbuka ile ya hostage nini ya yeah? pale Rizal Park kwa basi. Sasa leo nataka tutoke kwa basi nataka tuelekee moja kwa moja mpaka kwa casino. Kuna casino pale eh, Manila Philippines inaitwa uh, World Resort Casino. World Resort Casino iko up in flames. Pale chini askari Philippines National Police wamejaa armed to the teeth sababu duru za kuaminika zinasema kwamba kuna terrorists huko ndani wana terrorize wananchi deadly milio za risasi zinasikika huko ndani pa, 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 from multiple places so hapa nje kitu inawaambia huko ndani our deal na mtu mmoja hiyo ni kikosi na imekuja kuchachisha proper it's a pandemonium it's chaotic it's woo, woo, fire 
lakini tukule ni pause kidogo toka hapa world resort turudi 2 hours before G, eh, siku ni tarehe moja mwezi wa June 2017 saa nne na dakika kama 30 ya usiku kuna gari aina ya BMW ina cruise pale street za Manila hii gari iko na three occupants ndani pale kwa dereva kuna jamaa pale ambaye ni lawyer na anafanya kazi kwa construction company anaitwa Mitra Junior. Mitra Junior akiwa hapa kwa driver seat hapa kando yake kuna a retired police officer ambaye amekuwa bonge la tycoon. In fact, squeeze ana finance casinos. Police officer amekafunga mpaka ana finance casinos. Na tunajua mishahara ya police I'm an overthink what I'm overthink. I think an overthink. Acha to see overthink. Anyway, this ex police officer uh, jina yake ni Alvin Cruzin. Alvin Cruzin ako pale kwa passenger seat hapa ni Mitra Junior anaendesha. Nyuma kwa kiti ya nyuma kuna jamaa pale anaitwa Jesse Javier Carlos. Jesse Javier Carlos akiwa amekaa pale nyuma ni mtu ambaye maisha haijakuwa ikimwendea vizuri sana. Huyu ni mtu alikuwa kazi kwa Department of Finance ambayo hapa Kenya tunaita Ministry of Finance. Mambo ya embezzling au corruption nini akafutwa kazi. Jesse Javier Carlos ako na problem ya gambling. Ana gamble sana kama umeinteract na watu ambao wanafanya gambling sana mnajua kitu uaga inaandama sana ni nini madeni so akiwa hapa kwa ikiti ya nyuma ni mtu ako very troubled madeni zinamkumba hana kazi hana kazi so maisha yake downward spiral at first conversation ilikuwa imetulia sana between our watu watatu but all of a sudden vitu zikaanza kukuwa heated So kidogo kidogo ikaacha kukuwa tu ni mazungumzo ikaanza kuwa ni mabishano. So nobody knows exactly what these guys were talking about but chances are huyu jamaa hapa nyuma Jesse Javier Carlos alikuwa nakosana na ama rafiki wawili sababu ya mambo ya deni. Alikuwa amekopa kila mahali amegamble hiyo pesa yote na unajua gambling vile huwa wanasema the house always wins. Hata uende uchukue milioni ya kugamble itaenda yote. So imfika wakati hapa awasikizani sasa ni borderline vita. Hii gari ina cruise pale Manila eh, kwa streets lakini ndani it's chaos. So aza watu wawili hapa mbele wanapiga kelele kweli kweli. Jesse akatoa bunduki akiwa kwa kiti ya nyuma. Na wakati hao watu wanaendelea kuongea hata washughuliki kuangalia nyuma nini na happen Jesse akawekelea bunduki kwa kiti ya nyuma ya dereva sababu alikuwa amekaa right behind the driver wakiwa tu mid conversation bah! Jesse akapul trigger so of course driver kufa on the spot yeye ndio akokuwa wheel aka lose control of course sababu hezi control ukiwa eh, incapacitated ika roll kwa street roll kwa street kuna eyewitnesses wako hapo wanaona tu gari bugududududu na bingirika kwa street ikakamika come to a stop roof down so eyewitnesses wamechanganyikiwa kidogo wanashindwa okay he accident noma twende tujaribu kuokoa hata kabla wapige step mbili wanasikia milio zaidi ya risasi ndani ya gari pa, 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 pa. wakaogopa kwanza then in a few moments just a brief moment wakaona jamaa anatoka na dirisha sababu gari iko upside down amepiga dirisha teke imevunjika aka crawl nje ya dirisha na aka limp akielekea hiyo ilikuwa saa nne na nusu usiku ya tarehe moja June 2017 fast forward less than 2 hours later tu saa sita na dakika tano usiku tarehe mbili June 2017. Si unaona tume cross midnight. So sasa tumeingia tarehe mbili. Taxi inafika kwa hoteli fulani inajiita World Resort. Eh, World, World Resort eh, eh, Manila. Imeenda imepark pale. Eh, taxi driver amechukua pesa kutoka kwa passenger wake hapa. Akiwa katika pilka pilka za kuangalia pesa kama imetoshea vizuri, ana discover passenger wake anatembea akiingia kwa World Resort. But huyu passenger ana limp ako na damu kwa mguu 
na amebeba bag moja very heavy so taxi driver akamwangalia but okay ni sawa yeye yeah, akaendelea na shughuli zake huyo jamaa passenger mmoja ametoka akilimp na bag heavy ni none other than Jesse Javier Carlos akiingia wapi casino ya World Resort so ameenda ameingia World Resort amepita pale kwa security ameenda ameingia wapi kwa lift lift imefunguka ameingia anapata wasichana wawili pale ndani kile ule taxi driver li notice how wasichana kwa lift wana notice wanaona jamaa ana bleed mguu amebeba bag kubwa na hayuko sawa but mm, okay lift inafika pale juu inafunguka e, anaona ni casino hapa sasa ni ile floor ya casino casino huko ni ya whole floor gambling is good business so lift inafunguka anashuka anaenda mahali kwa entrance ya casino pale kwa casino kuna guard ako pale ni, ni mrembo anaitwa Grace Grace ndio ameachwa ashikilie guard pale kwa entrance ya casino Grace ako na bunduki oh, oh, oh. ulimpatia ana so ako hapo ye yeah, anapiga watu ile kitu unajua ile magic wand sio magic wand anapiga watu magic wand wanaingia jamaa Hi, Jesse Javier hata apiti pale katikati kwa ile kitu si unajua unapitanga kwa kale ka kitu hapo alafu ikilia ndio magic wand ina, inatoka ye yeah, anapita huku kando sure straight ni kama anaingia kwa bafu Grace anashangaa huyu mtu ni nani huyu ana madharau hivi mbona hataki kupita hapa kwa hii metal detector na So ameenda akamsimamisha huko bana. Oya, gadhe hapana bana. Rudi upitie katikati ya detector bana tuone ni nini umebeba kwa hizi bag zako kubwa kubwa. Ah. Havia akamwambia pole Grace. Nilikuwa nafanya nipitie kwa detector eh. Makosa ni yangu. Akatoa M16 rifle. Akamuuliza Grace, ulikuwa unasemaje mtu wangu? Ni kama siku anakusikia vizuri. Grace akajifanya ataja ona ni nini me happen akaelekea na akatoka mbio sana gone 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 Javier akatoa bunduki akaikok na akaanza kufiatua risasi left right and center mind you at this particular time ni saa sita na dakika tano dakika kumi pale usiku hapo ndio gambling inakuaga imeshika proper so the whole casino imejaa watu kweli kweli so ni marisasi tu pa 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 Watu sasa ni kukimbia helter skelter wakijaribu kutoka wo oh, ingia chini ya ma, eh, sijui slot machines jaribu wo oh, wapi watu stampede ilikuwa pale ni hatari pandemonium so jamaa kaenda kilipo tu marisasi na lipoa marisasi randomly watu wana hepa hepa kwa casino kuna ma places fulani wanaitaga comfort rooms so wale watu ambao wangetoshea kwa milango wa exit wakajipata ndani hizo comfort rooms wakajifungia pale ndani takriban ya wale watu ambao waliingia kwa different comfort rooms ilikuwa around 37 people na wakajilokia ndani so very important kuna 37 people hawajaweza ku exit kwa hii casino but wamejifungia kwa comfort rooms weka the back of your mind haya jose jesse javier carlos amefika pale kwa pale kwa poker tables si mnajua kwa casino kuna koga na zile tables za green watu wanaendaga kucheza poka pale nini ma chips zinaniniwa hapo akafika pale maze akaweka bunduki chini akatoa component nyingine ambayo ilikuwa kwa ile bag kubwa watu walikuwa wanamuona akitembea nayo ndani kulikuwa na a 20 liter jerrycan amejaza gasoline petroli imejaa pale ndani akafungua akaenda akimwaga petroli kwa hizo meza za kuchezea poka akamwaga petroli saa sawa alafu cha dakika hiyo hiyo akaipiga kiberiti so moto ndio hiyo imeanza kuwaka kwa casino haya havie akiwa na hii bunduki yake M4 alikuwa amebeba ma cartridge za marisasi kwa different bags so akaona since ahitaji marisasi nyingi sana akachukua bag za hiyo risasi akatupa pale ndani ya moto so what happens wakati risasi imekuwa in direct contact na heat uwaga inalipuka so zile risasi ziliekelewa juu ya hizi meza ambazo zina ban zinalipuka sana pa 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 So kwa wale watu ambao bado wana struggle kutoka nje ya casino na wale watu ambao wamejificha kwa comfort rooms huko wakitafuta refuge wanasikia milio ya risasi the first thing that comes to their mind ni nini huyu gunman ayuko peke yake wako wengi so hawa hawa ni ISIS tusidanganyane ISIS wametukumba wametukuta Philippines leo kimeumana 
So Javier Maze anaweka mambo yake pale e, na, e, zinalipuka hapo anabeba jerikani yake ya mafuta ame hang M4 rifle hapa anaendelea ndani kutafuta kuna mali ana target so anaenda maze aki aki target hizo hiyo akitafuta hiyo mask ana target but before atoke kabisa akaenda akafika place kwa zile zinaitwa slot machines ah akaona slot machines ziko hapa huku ni coins ndio zinakuanga huku sioni nikisaidika sana eh but kuna carpets hapo kuna viti safi kachukua ile mafuta ya jerikani ya mwaga kwa carpets hapo mwaga kwa kiti mwaga kwa hizo slot machines zote nini 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 piga kiberiti washa so hii casino inateketea pale kwa poker tables finished inachomeka deadly hii side nyingine kwa hizi maslot machines imewaka deadly na akatoka hapo pole pole kwa mwendo wa aste aste akaenda akitafuta nini e ile kitu amekujia at this point wa kurugenzi wacha ni 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 chaos watu stampede ni noma watu wanaanguka wanakanyagana kwa ile pilka pilka ya kujaribu kutoka nje ya kasini wamengangana deadly wale wamejifungia huko kwa marum wameanza kutwa na ngori ingine ngori gani sasa zile vitu zinachomeka kule meza za poka oh sijui hiyo room ya slot machine moshi ni thick deadly imeanza kutembea imeanza ku sip into the comfort rooms mahali more than eh, 30 people wamejificha i think walikuwa kama Actually yeah, more than 30 people wamejificha pale ndani. So wana risk eh, eh, either risk ni mbili. Either utoke ukutane na hawa gunmen ukule ndengu ama ukae hapa ndani ungangane na hii moshi. Uki make it sawa, usipo pole. Haya. Kizem mzima Jesse Javier Carlos ashamaliza mambo yake hapo kwa casino. Sasa ni twende pale kwa destination. Ile kitu ambayo imemleta. Akaenda moja kwa moja mpaka kwa room ambayo ndio safe ya casino kaingia pale kwa room teketeke akapata mali mali imewekwa imefungwa na milango fulani hapo of course ako na M4 yake hapa safi sana aka cock rifle yake tena akapiga milango ya safe marisasi kweli kweli until milango zikafunguka my friend Paulo na Sila wangekuwa hapa wangekuwa very proud of this gentleman alifanya kazi ingine hatari sana in a matter of seconds haya The moment of reckoning has come. Sasa hapa ndiyo tunaenda kuomokea. Kafungua milango za safe, akijua anataka kuokota mamilioni, yani shida anaziambia kwa heri leo. Oh, oh. milioni ulimwekea. Kumbe hizi safe wameacha ku store cash hapo. Sasa nini wanaweka pale? Vitu zinaitwa casino chips. So ukiingia kwa casino, kama unataka kwenda kugambo waga uende kuwekelea pesa tu kwa meza ni kama unacheza kamare a a unaendaga kwa room fulani unasema hii pesa yangu hii ni convertie into chips so unaweza wapatia hata maybe elfu mia moja wanakuhesabia chips ambazo ziko valued at 100000 so hizo ndio unaendaga kucheza nazo kwa meza kasino so hii room havia aliingia ilikuwa imejaa chips tupu cash nothing But haidhuru hizi chips ukichukua pia uende uingie nazo kasino ingine wanaweza kukonvertia wakupatie cash money so iko sawa akachukua hizo chips akazitupa ndani ya bag chips amounting to 2.3 million dollars akaweka kwa ile bag yake kubwa ile ambayo alikuwa ametembea nayo akaweka chips zake hapo sawa sawa akafunga bag vizuri mission accomplished so at that particular time ndio dunia ilitambua ya kwamba The main reason why Jesse Javier Carlos alipiga hii eh, heist ni sababu alikuwa anahitaji pesa. Ndio kwa maana alienda straight mpaka hapo akachukua pesa akaweka kwa mfuko. Ai akawa kwa bag yake. Paka hapo tuko sawa. Tutoke nje kidogo. Pale nje Philippines National Police wamewasili. Wamepata ripoti za aina yote. ISIS wanatugonga. Oh terrorist kuna terrorist alikuwa anawasumbua sana huko I think alikuwa anaitwa Marwan or something. Ametuma watu wanatucharaza hapa mbaya sana. Na hao watu ni wengi, si mtu mmoja wako kadhaa. So pale makarao wakiwa pale nje wanataka sana kuingia lakini information hawana sababu wale watu wangewasaidia ni watu wa CCTV surveillance. Lakini hiyo kikosi ya CCTV surveillance walisikia risasi zimelia mbili tatu wakati Javier aliingia they were the first ones ku- <laughs> kutoka <laughs> waliondokea mbaya sana surveillance zilibaki huko zikijisurveil haya 
So makarawa wana mtu yote wa kuambia kuwapatia accurate information. So ikakuwa hapa lazima wangwana tujipange, tuingie. Stop number one ni CCTV surveillance room. Twende tu study CCTV tuangalie huyu jamaa kwa pande gani tuone kama tunaweza fish out. So wakashikana hapo kikosi safi sana ya askari kama 15 wakaambiana the time is now let's roll. Pap wakaingia Walls eh, Walls Resort. Wakapanda wakapanda wakaenda mpaka wakafika wapi? Eh, surveillance room. Wakakaa chini wakaanza ku study CCTV surveillance. Waone kama wataona nani? Jesse Javier Carlos. Toka kwa surveillance room. Rudi huko juu kwa safe. Eh Javier ashamaliza kuweka chips zake kwa bag. Sasa ni wakati wa kutoka sasa. Eh, find the exit enda anza maisha huko Bermuda, Hawaii, huko Cayman Islands. Eh, ni wewe na mabebe. Wewe na mabebe. Yaani unajua kumaliza 2.1 million dollars si mchezo. Hey, hiyo ni 200 2.1 million dollars ni 210 million Kenya shillings. Hey, mtu yangu. That's that's a lot of money, man. So jamaa ametoka pale kwa safe, ameingia pale kwa corridor, ikam hit eh, 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 nikitoka makosa. Naweza kutana nao wakiingia. Ni njia gani zingine naweza pitia? Ndio nione kama naweza toka na ma back route, ndio tusikutane na hao watu juni koshua. Saa hii, saa hii kuna watu washaanza kuingia. So akaanza kuzunguka zunguka huko akitafuta namna, anatafuta namna, ako very confused. Hajui area vizuri ni nini nini. Ah, ikamchachia. So akasema wacha rudi hapo back route, I think alikuwa ameenda kuingia washroom kidogo. Akaingia kwa ka room fulani hapo na akapotea kwa kwa makona hapo. Hiyo room aliingia tu hivi. Hata sekunde tatu wazikuisha the first eh, elite officers wakatokelezea waka hiyo area. So mmoja mazee ile anajaribu kupiga piga ma surveillance haraka haraka mazee akaingiza kichwa kwa kwa hiyo room Carlos alikuwa amepotelea ame, ndani. So kuingiza kichwa hivyo anasikia eh hey, wait ni kama kuna footsteps zinakam. Ndio kidogo kidogo mazee anachungulia anaona Carlos anatembea hapo na bag yake ya chips na rifle yake ya M4. So mazee aka akapiga nduru akarudi aka akaanza kufaya towards hiyo hiyo direction. Carlos pia ana yana leta moto kweli kweli. So kwa hiyo process Carlos aka piu akaguzwa na risasi kidogo. I think ilimpiga mguu or something. Eh akaona ase ni hatari. Hao watu watanimaliza. So hiyo room mali alikuwa kulikuwa na stairs zinapanda juu. Ukipanda na hizi stairs unaenda towards the room sasa. Mahali watu wakimaliza kasino wanaendaga kulala ama kama wewe si mtu wa kasino umekuja tu kulala unapeleka go huko. Sasa juu ni top floor ni rooms sasa for accommodation. So yeye yeah, akapanda na stairs, akafika kwa ma rooms pale, aka identify room moja hapo, room 510, 510. So akaona ya hii room ina kasawa, wacha niingie niweke mambo yangu hapa nitulie, but before niingie lazima niharibu haribu hapa. So ile mafuta kidogo alikuwa amebakisha, akatoa toa ma blanket huko kwa ma rooms nyingine nini, akakuja akaweka hapo kwa corridor, akamwaga mafuta ile yore, yore, kidogo ilikuwa imebaki, odhoa kumwaga yote, aka piga hiyo nini kiberiti so as corridor inachomeka hapa yeye ameingia room 510 akaenda akajifungia ndani makarao wakapanda wakakamo wakafika hiyo floor ambayo alikuwa amejifungia na waka identify ya kwamba amejifungia room 510 sababu kulikuwa na kikosi kingine imebaki huko juu i mean huko chini kwa CCTV surveillance so alikuwa anamuona movement zake vile anafanya So akaambia ama jamaa ni aje mtu wenu ameingia hiyo room 510. So ako armed ingia ni hapo maze eh, come ko careful. Wewe oh, jamaa ni hatari. So of course makarao akachukua dakika kidogo hapo kwanza wa strategize. Wajue vile watakacheza hapa ndani wakiingia ndio pia wasikutane crossfire isi wabebe. So wakiwa hapo wanapiga discussion kidogo wanasikia sauti ya kuchomeka. Eh hey, wanashindwa wait. Inaweza ni inachomeka hapa ama kuna place nyingine inachomeka. Eh hey, ikasemekana okay, hiyo room ameingia inakani kama iko on fire. Ingieni hapo teke teke, muangalie ni nini na happen. So maze pap wakagonga mlango teke haraka haraka, mlango ikavunjika ikafunguka hapo deadly wakaingia ndani ya room. My friend wakakutana na site ambayo no one alikuwa ameanticipate. Jesse Javier Carlos alikuwa amekaa kwa kitanda ile mafuta kidogo alikuwa amebakisha kwa jerican akajimwagilia yote akamaliza akatupa jerican hapo chini 
akachukua ile kiberiti amekuwa akichoma nayo kila mahali akawasha na akajiwekelea so akaenda up in flames immediately then sababu yeye ni mjanjeza hata anajua moto ya kifo vile ni uchungu ile risasi alikuwa nayo amebakisha kwa pistol enye actually hiyo pistol i think hii ndio ilikuwa kazi yake just in case akose ku make it hiyo ndio ticket out akakok pistol yake akajiwekelea hapa na akajimalizia so as makarao wanaingia walikutana na havie amechomeka amefika mwisho haya sasa washa identify gunman ni mmoja hakuna terrorists wengine e, but lazima warudi chini waende wakikom kila area waangalie kama kuna pengine ma victims wamejificha mahali waangalie kama hizi risasi za havie zinaweza kuwa zilishoot watu zikaumiza ama zilishoot watu zikaua wakapiga lap kweli 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 kila mahali waka discover havie Carlos hakupiga mtu hata mmoja risasi hata mmoja he did not shoot any single person in the i think 35 minutes alikuwa anapiga hiyo shughuli yake unfortunately as the police are busy combing the area waka come to zile rooms ambazo tunaziita comfort rooms wakafungua comfort rooms zote hivi wakapata majamaa ambao walikuwa wamejificha ndani ya zile rooms unfortunately ile moshi ya kuchomeka kwa casino ilikuja ikakuwa so intense ika seep into the cracks chini ya milango ikaingia kwa hizo comfort room na walikuwa watu wengi kwa space ndogo so wote wana breathe at the same time nini so haikuachukua muda sana kuchoke kusuffocate jo hiyo moshi wakaaga so by the end of the search 37 people had died of smoke inhalation eh, as a result of Javier's activities but hakuna mtu hata mmoja alipigwa risasi wote wenye waliaga hiyo siku ilikuwa ni sababu ya Javier so of course ilikuwa ni time sad sana for Philippines juu yenye 37 people did not need to die especially since gunman haku shoot any one of them like mbona wali dead so kwa kuwa na ma commission of inquiries pale casino ikakuja under fire deadly wakaulizwa kwa nini mazema na kuwa na guard pale ambaye ako unarmed hana uwezo eh mbona mku haya namba 2 mko na surveillance system fit sana kukitokea ngori mbona mna hepa na surveillance room yenu ni mahali mnaweza jifungia na muendelee ku coordinate activities mkiwa ndani so ikakuwa ni noma sana but too little too late 37 people had already lost their lives yeah na halos kavier eh, nani eh, eh, havier carlos akawafuata yeah na hiyo ndio story ya the manila eh, casino attack of 2017 maze ilikuwa ni ni noma sana eh, but eh, gavao ali insist hiyo kitu ingekuwa avoided unfortunately Really happen really, really happen man i'll see you hapo ndio nafunga story yangu wa dao e, kama imekubamba you know what to do wewe kuja na kikosi hapo na kama kawa kama dawa pesa yenu watu jawai kata you know what to do cheza kama nyenye au sio na watambua sana wa dao nyenye ni wa true adios muchachos peace nice Thank you.